whether you want to take your zucchini and create a more ribbon-like shape, or if you'd like your zucchini to have more of a spaghetti shape, our spiralizer will create for you four different designs. This is an opportunity for you to be able to buy this spiralizer at the lowest price we have ever offered. It is the best value that we've ever offered. This is actually between me, you, and the post fence. Cover your ears, chef. This is our today's special price. It's the best value we've ever offered at $49.95. It's on three Okay, only 200 remain in the white. My producer is already saying we're getting updates already. So we have the white, red, and black. I'm actually gonna go over and join the chef because seeing is believing. Almost 2,000 people have ordered. Look right here. This is everything. This is all you need to know. Look at this up close. This it's, is- It's the coolest machine ever. This is awesome. It really is. So can I, can I talk about spiralizer? So, the Japanese invented it. There was one called a Ben Reiner. There's a whole bunch out there. And it's a hand crank, and you gotta push it, and you have to have the, it was, it was a challenge to use. You had to put the right pressure so it didn't get too thick or too thin, right? This is the only automatic feeding spiralizer in the world today. And the key here, and I wanna show you how easy this is to use, is, is the, um, this blade part. So this completely comes out. And the trick with these, but these are razor sharp. Never touch them. And it's so easy to change your blades ah, by just twisting. So you right? get four different designs. Right. So here is, this is the thinnest little speed. I'm gonna, uh, just to show you, this is medium, right? So let me just get another carrot here and show you what a medium looks like. So you and, just pop it and in. And by the way, this spiralizer can take longer than most. You don't have to cut them down. Most spiders, you cut them to here. It can even take a whole head of cabbage, we're gonna show you in a oh, second, wow. which is amazing. By the way, almost 2,000 people have ordered. Um, this is the lowest price we've ever offered. It's on flex, so it's 1665. So, Watch closely. So now this, you can see this is a little bit thicker than this one, right? It's, it's just nuance difference. But you end up getting just the coolest, carrot, spaghetti, or spirales, and it's so great to cook with. But notice how you don't ever get close to the blade. Not doing anything. It's nice and quiet, and it automatically stops by itself. But I love how, I wish we could get a side view. No, I'll show you. Because it actually is moving itself back. And the reason it's doing that is right here. You see this? These are the threads. So we design it with this thread. So it's just like a screwdriver. And this is exactly the same distance, so that's why it's always gonna be the same thickness. So it just threads up and brings it all the way in. I it's wonder, guys, if, if maybe design. the next demo we can maybe set it up where they can show a side profile to show how it moves back. But this is amazing. This is what a lot of people are doing in order to get more vegetables in their diet and to eat low carb. Yep. So they're swapping out traditional pasta, which we know is delicious but it's loaded with, with carbs. Orange pasta. And yeah. And with, kids will eat it. Or zucchini pasta or a spaghetti pa uh, squash pasta. Yeah. And kids eat it because it looks so pretty. It looks just, it's curly. It could be curly fries right. that you're doing. You talked about the cabbage. Any rooted How vegetables. About this? It's broccoli stem. You can buy broccoli, uh, Rob, or, or you can buy shredded broccoli, right, in, in stores. But with broccoli stem, which is really hard and fibrous, all right, oh, oops, I did, forgot to lock it. You have to lock it to catch the thread. And then it slowly feeds. You wanna see the sides, yeah. see how this moves? Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can do it from the sides. Yeah, I'll just hold it up here. Okay. You see how that's moving in? See how moving it's in. moving towards the back? I don't know if you guys can tell that, but it, it, it moves it. Yeah, it uh, moves yeah. itself automatically. Move so you don't, and move. you don't have to literally do anything. Hey, hey, we'll just, we'll just it, feed it into the walk. That's, <laughs> Why not? That's how that was even non-dishes. Right? Yeah. But And then I love it because it automatically stops. Oh my gosh, it smells so right. good over so here. So we got the harder veg, so some broccoli stems, some carrots. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put in, you mentioned zucchini, right? So we'll go ahead and do just one zucchini here, because zucchini doesn't take nearly as much time to cook as do these harder veg. So you want to put the hard veg in first, and then the zucchini you'll see is softer, but it gets nice and long, and these are called zoodles, and you actually, you go to a grocery store, you get a bag, they're six to eight dollars. Do it yourself. Right? This, this, this piece of zucchini costs you 17, 25 cents, maybe. 
right? Oh, they, a yeah, bag yeah, is $8. Yeah. And they do, and they spiralize for you. They're going to charge you more. Oh, my God, you so much more. You come home, and it's so much more fun, and you get greater satisfaction out of doing it yourself. Oh, my God, kids love this. We're going to go to our phone lines. If you would like to buy it, you're buying it at the lowest price we've ever offered. We have sell-out quantities in the white, but we still have all three colors, white, red, and black. But if you want the white, that's the one that will be the first to go. It's so cool to watch this in action, isn't it? I mean, a met, is this uh, like a yam? That's a, that's a squash. S squash? A butternut. A, a, you, you know how hard butternut squash is. Yeah, it's really hard. But look how long this is. It's beautiful. I mean, this literally. Look at that. Oh my god. It goes gosh. forever, right? It's gorgeous. It's so great. And this is awesome to just walk stir. Uh, or you can make, when you do a potato, so if you've done like right here, you can take it and this makes potato chips. So it makes different now, these shapes. Are different, you have four different shapes. So this right? is the ribbon design that you're exactly. seeing here, which is really pretty. There's a linguine design. There's a spaghetti design. And there's a fettuccine, a fettuccine. fettuccine design. <laughs> fettuccine. Easy, easy for me to say. Let's go to the phone lines and let Hannah okay. save me. Hannah, thank you for calling from South Carolina. You're on with Chef Ming Tsai. Hey, Hannah. Hi, uh, Chef. Uh, I've been watching you for years. I bought some ceramic knives from you. Had to be maybe 15 or 20 years ago. <laughs> yep, and I bet you paid over $100 for it, too, didn't you? Um, they probably were, it, it, yeah, because I just bought one. But oh. can that be shopping? Say again? Oh, sharpen, you said? Yeah, the uh, ceramic knife. Yeah, you really don't. They stay sharp forever. I mean, they really do. I mean, if you're hacking wood and stuff, just don't hack wood and stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they really stay sharp for a really long time. And uh, okay, you'll be- Okay, well, wonderful. It's yeah. just a pleasure to talk with you. Um, Thank you. I've been watching you on PB, uh, P here in South PBS, Carolina. PBS, yeah. It's on um, ETV. Right. But, um, I think you had your own show back then, yeah. and I loved watching you then, and I'm so happy for you being on HSN now and seeing all your wonderful products. Oh, thank um, you. I'm just, it's just a pleasure, just a pleasure. Awesome. Hey, I'm still on PBS with Simply Mink, so you still check me out there. You get it, you get it down there in South Carolina. I watched you last week. There you go. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Listen, happy cooking. Have fun with the pan. And uh, I appreciate the call. It's great. I love calls like that. Yeah, thank you, You can, you can tell Hannah can cook. Right? Oh, yeah, for sure. You can tell. Well, that's good. So look at so these, these are great. So you can do two things here. You can fry these. You get fantastic, funky-looking chips. Or use it for scalloped potatoes or gratin. Because why slice your potatoes thinly and why have to peel them? You make a gratin out of this. That could be with cream or with Parmesan or chicken stock, however you want to do it. This is your prep. Well, I wouldn't miss out on a chance to buy this. Listen, yes, it's still winter, but spring and summer is right around the corner. This is great to lighten up your meals. This is wonderful if one of your goals is to just eat healthier in the new year. This will get give you loads right. and loads of vegetables we, and quick and fast. And can we talk about something? This is a whole head of cabbage. It's there, because of the of the depth of this, most slicers, turning slicers, cannot take a whole head of cabbage. You got to cut it into quarters. But look how much coleslaw we're gonna get out of a head of cabbage. Here's another one where if you go into the produce, they'll buy these all shredded for you and yeah. they'll sell them to you in I a mean, bag. Look at that. I'm, I'm going to stop you it because... You end up paying double the amount of money for it. Oh, for sure. And by the way, when you buy cut veg, once it's cut, it starts oxidizing. The freshness and the nutrients start to dissipate. So keep your veg, keep your melons whole, keep all your stuff whole. Peel them, cut them yourself. But here, cutting is a simple push of a button. But, I mean, this is this is two-thirds of a head. That's phenomenal. It's amazing, the quantity. And you didn't do anything. I mean, all you have to do is insert right. it, and, and it does all like the work. Like this. I mean, who likes to make apple desserts, apple pie, sautéed apples? This is skin on. I like the skin. The skin has flavor, right? Skin has the nutrients. Look at how right? pretty. But look how pretty that is, right? So this you can put into our air fryer, and you get perfect apple chips, right? This you take, and you can make a perfect apple cake. And by the way, sometimes, as you see, I'm just going to show you what happened here. Sometimes it actually, because it's gets stripped, it's okay. Turn it around the other way. And then just go back. Okay. No perfect. waste, right? And then you can start again. That's beautiful. Right? Even so. they sell you the little small bags of apple chips. Have you guys oh, seen those so in the stores? Expensive. It's like almost three dollars for like the smallest bag. Right. But look how much apple. That was one apple. So look at how much it And you said pop them about. in an air fryer or a dehydrator. No, you can dehydrate. You get yeah. the best apple chips. Now here, here's something that you almost never want to touch with your hands is beets. 
because beets are really hard, and of course they get your fingers wow. really red. And they're so good. But look how pretty this is. Look at this. Oh, same oh, thing. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right? But look at that. But to put on top of a salad. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, that's, and I it's love, beautiful presented that beets. way. I love beets. And then here, same thing. Sometimes it's just to just flip so it around. So I want to remind everybody about the story on the spiralizer. This is the best price that we've ever offered it. Ever. It's never been lower than this price. You're saving $30. You've got your flex pay option. Over 2,000 have been ordered. It, are you looking to eat more vegetables? Yes! <laughs> Oh, beets are so hard, right? You can yeah, spy the beet. But can I show you something? This is something that Tracy and Eric created, which I think is genius. They played around with this, right? Beef carpaccio. Oh. So you take your beef, it's super thin. You do, if you had a party, and you notice know, you know how beef carpaccio is usually flat? Well, I like it that it actually has a little height to it, all right? But wait, we're not done. Because now we can also take the beef out, right? This is gonna be a large beef carpaccio. And you can do the cheese too. Just now, a big. This makes a spiralizer. A big hunk of cheese. This is so different from any that I've seen. Because most spiralizer, you can't, you don't have the space. You usually have to put oh, it no. through a small funnel. Right. Or a small little pencil sharpener kind of looking thing. And you have to crank and you have to push. And here we're just gonna get little pieces of cheese. That you go on See, I think top. The best part right? is that you don't have to push or crank anything because oh, absolutely. You get a lot to of us don't have away. the strength. And then here in the classic, classic carpaccio, black that pepper, fabulous. salt, and then a little extra virgin olive oil. And that's it. And I by love the way, this, that. And this is $20 in a restaurant. Yeah, it is. Right? That's but let me show you the other cool thing that I just love. So besides this cheese and stuff, one of the things that most people hate doing are onions. <laughs> right? Because onions make you cry. They do. Onions are hard to get the exact thickness all the time. But with a spiralizer, and you can stand away, so you don't have to worry about the onion juice getting your eyes. It's the juice of the onions that get you. But look how thin what these onions onion are. What pretty onion rings you can make. You coat, coat this with cornstarch and deep fry it. Fantastic. Soak it in water or vinegar, then it's a fantastic pickle for your hamburgers. Yes. Uh, but look, look at the volume of the onion I got out of an onion, right? And this is what they look like fried. But then one last thing, if I may. Dessert. Frozen jello. That's right. Frozen jello. Look at these ribbons of frozen jello. How cool is that? That is so pretty. Try, try a piece. It's so cool. I mean, this is jello. That and I'll do it twice because mm. we can. All it is is this jello that we put into a plastic container and freeze. That's it. And then we just put it in the spiralizer. And for kids, oh my God, they go wild. Oh, they of go course. gaga for frozen jello. I mean, it's unbelievable. Well, if you, you want can do any you, flavor, if you want yours, hey Daryl, update me on the white. I know that one was the most limited. Okay, so the white still is the most limited. I'm looking at those pretty apple chips. Oh my gosh, now I want some of those. <laughs> but <laughs> again, it will create for you ribbon design. There are four blades built into the unit itself. So there's a ribbon design, a linguine, fettuccine, and spaghetti. Okay, so did I pronounce it right that time? I think yeah, I did. Yeah, linguine, that was correct. I got it right. You got it right. Sometimes the tongue doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. So. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for your phone calls on the Spiralizer. Remember, all of these prices are only good while supplies last for the visit. We're going to talk about the